We're in the northern reaches, and if this is to be our final day, or however long in Eastshade, this is kind of a weird way to finish, right? Because this this is kind of like a, some haunted, like, ruins that's slowly driving these two university researchers completely insane. <laughs> well, let's talk to the other guy. You had a chat with Commander Liliana, did you? Yep. She managed to recruit you yet? Kind of. I'm gonna hang around. Maybe you can take my spot and I'll head back to Nava. <laughs> so this place is haunted? Uh, right. There are records of an ancient spirituality in the area. It seems to me that we might have struck a curse by opening this tunnel. So, magic? No. <laughs> a curse set in place by ancient and sacred rituals. Oh. Can't be sure how these things work, but it seems they do, based on the terrible experiences we've had. Can you go into detail? Well, we've seen these figures surrounding our camp. They're always whispering. Mira, she's got it the worst. She hears something talking to her all the time. Like a demon, by the way she describes it. Is there any way to change it, reverse it? The texts on this area of the world are sparse. There is some information that hints heavily at curses, but I haven't found much on how to reverse them. Sounds very creepy. I'll tell you. We're all very much looking forward to getting away from here. As exciting as the cavern find may be, I just don't get a good feeling from it. Fair enough. Mira's been having an especially hard time with everything. She specializes in glaciology, and, well, Liliana is worried that Mira should have been able to foresee the cave-in. They had a falling out this morning. Not that I should be telling you any of this, but I'm worried about her. Oh, there's three of them. Okay. I think it'd be great for her to see a new face. We're all starting to get under each other's skin. God, the sounds. This is so great, isn't it, compared to the rest of the game? I'll try. She walked up to the northern shore. It's a nice place to take a break. Seems less cursed, I guess. <laughs> I spoke with Vadir. He believes the team is cursed and that Mira's been dealing with the demon-like voice talking to her. I can find her taking a break at the Northern Shore. Well. Uh, I think that's this way, right? Oh, this is uh, quite, like, distressing, isn't it? They all kind of sound like they're slowly going insane. This is like the start of a horror film. Okay, Mira, are you okay? God, this is so ominous. I hate it when there's no light. Uh, hello? Oh my god. Are you real? I'm a traveler. Oh dear. Well, that shows you what state I'm in. I didn't expect to see a tourist all the way out here. Now, I've heard about what's going on here. Care to elaborate? Yeah, this is one creepy place. Best day of my life when I set foot on this big old block of ice. But now, I really wish we'd never come at all. Demons. Who told you that? Was it Fadir? He's always butting into things. Um, I'd like to help. My grandmother told me about spirits that haunt people who make bad choices. I always thought she was just getting me to behave. But what if it's real? So what do you believe you've done wrong? What? In my whole life? Oh. A lot of things. But since we've been here, <laughs> nothing. <laughs> I stole Liliana's dessert rations. <laughs> Tell me, 
What would you suggest I do about the thing that won't stop talking to me? Hmm. Maybe talk back to it? Okay, I know you're just trying to be helpful, but I actually don't feel like talking about it anymore. No. It's a lot to deal with. What did you want to ask about? Uh, the dig. We're trying to access an important cavern inside the ice, but someone, or something, doesn't want us to find it. Hmm. What do you mean? Strange things have been happening ever since we got here. This place is just... <sighs> creepy. What did you want to ask about? Your... Uh, colleagues, Fadir? Fadir's a historian and an archaeologist. Right. He was one of my professors at university. He thinks there's a curse bringing on the demons. Mm. He has all kinds of ideas to break the curse. But I think they're just making things worse. Right. And Liliana? Liliana is our commander. She says she doesn't hear any of the voices or see any of the creepy things we do. Right. But I think she's lying. She's just trying to protect us. Fair enough. Bye. I've met both Mira and Fadir. I should check back in with Commander Liliana to find out if the tent is ready. Oh my god! What? There's one of them! A ghost! A shadowy figure. I see it too. What did you want to ask about? Liliana is our command. Bye. I saw the ghost, man. Oh, yeah. I think I managed to make enough space for you in the tent. Might be a little cozy, though. It's yours to use when you're ready. Alright. Thanks, Liliana. <laughs> What's gonna happen, man? This is so mysterious. Okay, they've been like zombified. What's going on? Mira ran inside the tunnel. She was screaming her head off and just went in. What? We can't go in there. I tried to stop her. We don't have a choice now. Oh my gods, how is this happening? Guys, let's go! Run! We're coming, Mira. Where's that ghost? Oh. What? I tried, I couldn't talk to them. Guys, come on. Back me up. They both just ran into the tunnel! I can't believe this is happening! Both? They both just ran into the tunnel! I can't believe this is happening! Both? I heard voices. Tens of voices, all whispering so loudly my brain felt like it would burst. I came out here to check on you all and saw Mira running off to the tunnel. She got through the rubble and now she's in there. We need to help. She yelled something about finding out what they want and just ran right in. It's not safe in there. I don't know why we're still standing here. I I'm going in after her. Maybe it's the first folk. You know, the raccoon people. Maybe... Yeah, maybe it's them. Maybe it's like another entrance to their like underground... I know that there's water between there and here, but it might be another similar place. Come on, Fadir, let's go! I'm not doing... Oh, dude, what the hell? I'm not... <sighs> Game. 
Stop it. Stop! Frustrated. Okay. Fedir has lost his mind too. Oh, come on, Commander. You should go first. Do I get a say? Nope, we're going in. Let's move. That's in order. Go. Sure. Oh, she's following me. Fine, fine. God, this is eerie. This is real, like, horror trope territory. At least by my, like, measly standards, because I'm scared of everything. Oh, God, there's a haze in the air. It's like we're high on tea again. Just the promised land. Oh my god, this is the end. Oh, there are like, there were like mushrooms down there. Oh, we're hallucinating. Maybe. Yeah, there are like mushrooms down here. Can walk on the water. Yeah. We're hallucinating, guys. It's just drugs. I don't know why we need to pick them up. Oh, I forgot to... Oh, I forgot to turn the refresh rate on my computer down. Oh well. I think I've... Have I got V-Sync on? I can't remember. Ah, oh, damn it. Hopefully this hasn't affected the video. I tend to turn the refresh rate on my computer. Huh. There's like a shape over there. That intentional. You guys could see that square there, right? What's that square about? I can walk up the mountain. Okay, wasn't expecting that. Okay. There's someone over there, isn't there? Oh god. Yeah, look, there's like a steel orb in the sky. But yeah, creepy figures stood, stood to the sides. Hey, what are you doing, man? Ominous figures. Can you help? That square keeps appearing on the screen, that must be a glitch. Who are you? Okay, that's terrifying. There's a flame. Do I need to climb up?
like the, the the click range of these is so you have to be so close to it to pick it up like it's absolutely silly it's just tragic whose idea was this Oh my god. No. Like, right, I want to get over here, but I can't pick the... I have to get so... I have to get so close to, to it to pick it up. Oh god, that was so annoying. <laughs> Uh Right. Mushrooms. A swallow. Hey up, Demir. Hey, are you alright? Oh, Liliana. It seems we've all had a bout of hallucinations. I think you might have managed to save us somehow. It was the boxes. What did I do? When I came to, I found you here, next to all our artifact bins. Oh. I thought maybe you were trying to build some kind of shield, but you must have stacked them up and that hole. Of course it's a vent. When you pulled out those ice chunks, all the spores dissipated. Oh, okay. Do you see the three towers? Look at all this icy fungus. Fedir just identified it as a highly potent hallucinogen. Right. He must have been breathing in the spores while we were digging. And that led to some powerful experiences. Oh, Mine yeah. Mine was about four golden owls, leading me down a path to... Well, it doesn't matter. <sighs> I never want to do that again, but fair enough. Who doesn't like mushrooms, right? They're fascinating. Brought me right back to my days of experimenting with the roots. <laughs> Although, not as pleasant, really. No. Fedir is over the moon about this. To think, we've been making our situation worse yeah. with every step forward. Very true. I'm not sure how you knew what to do. I didn't. But I'm glad you were able to air out the spores. Thanks to you, we survived and even managed to recover the artifacts. Yeah, I'm glad we got out alive. Boxes! How dare you. Fair enough, man. God, why did they have to put a physics puzzle in there? Strange. Can we take some mushrooms with us? No? Okay. Alright. Uh, I guess we can talk to them on the way out. Should probably do a painting while we're here, right? Wish the boxes weren't here, but... Mushroom cave. I should have had a proper look at it, sorry. Probably look nice. I don't know, it looks quite nice like that. I don't think that uh, Lindawi and T would make too much difference. Thanks for running in there after my crew. The existence of this cavern is amazing enough, but the discovery of the spores is going to help solve some big historical questions. What are you gonna do now? We have lots to do now. I'm going to write back to the university immediately to inform them of our findings. Sweet. Good luck. I suppose it makes sense that all the visions were from cave spores. <laughs> I can't believe I didn't see it sooner. Yes, yeah, me neither. The spores were what made me think it was a curse. <laughs> yes, that must be it. <laughs> Imagine a real life curse. <laughs> oh, anyway, it'll be nice to do some actual research for once. We'll have to get some coverings for our faces to ensure there are no more curse like experiences. 
Yeah, it'd be interesting, man, as the world slowly legalizes psilocybin mushrooms, right? Because, like, psilocybin is being researched quite heavily into um, neurological illnesses like Alzheimer's and dementia. It's having quite a positive effect. Even no even just normal mushrooms have a ve have a very good for your brain. So if you don't eat mushrooms, eat your mushrooms because it mushrooms are really good for your brain. They're really good for, for long term brain health. Mushrooms? Ugh, I've always hated mushrooms. No, no, no. I really thought that demon would be the end of me. All right now. I ran in here last night to find out what the demon wanted. I guess that wasn't really the best choice looking back. But I'm glad everything got sorted out. Thanks for the advice. It's all right, Mira. All the best. Glad you're feeling better. Well, now the real research can begin. Definitely. Yeah, someone I used to live with, you know, always hated mushrooms, and it's always one of them, like... You should just treat it as a food that's just really good for you. Like your long-term brain health. I, I mean, I genuinely just like mushrooms, the taste of it, but... Right, so, uh, what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna head to, back to Lindo, but we're gonna take the long sailing route around and take in the beautiful views of East Shade. No before we try and go home, wherever home is. So, it's early morning, perfect timing. Maybe do a few paintings on the way if we if we can. Who knows? But yeah, mushrooms. As uh, Mary and Pippin would say in Lord of the Rings. Wash the Oops. I always like mushrooms on pizza. Oh god, is this a dead end? Looks like it. Oh no, there's an ice... there's a cave here. Look at this, so, uh, can we like, do we get to like cut through? I mean the ice doesn't look great on paintings, otherwise it's because it's, it's kind of low, low res, the textures, but wow this is really cool, look at this, the final journey through the ice ca caverns. I always remember, speaking of mushrooms, I had like a bad, ex not a mushroom experience. When I was in, I was in Germany, I mean, we just went to get some pizza and I think that like the German for, uh, I, I tried to order like a mushroom pizza, I think, and it came with jalapenos on it. And I think like the German for jalapeno is fungi or something like that. And I, ab I absolutely hate jalapenos. I love peppers, but not jalapenos. Um, let's, let's go this way. And it was just a pizza with jalapenos on it. It was an absolute nightmare. I, don't, I, I probably would like jalapenos. It's just uh, I had a bad experience. I've had bad experiences with them at jobs, and like the the the, the brine. An old job, yeah. I used to get the jalapenos out. Just no. Just, that's just this. This I associate the smell with that. I'm, I'm, I'm completely. Oh, I can see Narva. It's fine. We're all good. I can see Narva. See the tower landmarks. It's great not having a a mini maps a lot of the time. 
I appreciate that the actual map doesn't have a marker on it for where we are. Or if it does, I've just never noticed. Yeah, all I'm doing now is like fantasizing about if they made a sequel to this and they had like a massive budget, like what the, what you could do. It's like a massive like open world. I think it'd be cool if it was like a third person open world game. And you know, you had all the different things you could do, like there's, there'd be the artist stuff like in this with paintings and maybe you could do drawings as well. And um, photography. Yeah. Sculpture, th just like general artistry stuff, car wood carvings and all that stuff. It'd be really cool. You know, and you'd, you'd get commissioned to do maybe like family portraits. I don't know, just any excuse to travel and you could have some sort of overarching story with you in it. Maybe just building up your reputation to do stuff. But yeah, but yeah, just be cool, wouldn't it? But I've really enjoyed the, the humour in this game, the kind of irreverent humour. Uh, the kind of countryside feel to the whole thing. It's just really enjoyable to just have a nice little laugh with. Right, here's, here's big old Narva. There's the balloon. Is it N Nessa? Well, we'll go around the, per the edge. The coast, sorry. If possible, might not be able to. I'm going to presume we need to talk to the captain again. That's my presumption. Could be wrong about that. I have a feeling she'll have acquired a new boat and she'll be nice and happy now. Maybe we have to go up the river then. Or try to. Yep. We get to go under the big under the bridge that leads to Narva. Awesome. Yeah, that, we need to get a painting of this, I think. Just want to get out of the way of that tree that's sticking up the middle of it. If possible, I might not be able to. Yep, yep, yep. Nice little river cruise. Oh, get the trees out of the way, man. Oh, yeah, with a bit of... Yeah, waterfall action there, yeah. Um, uh, mushroom cave, shipwreck. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, I can paint over this. Oh, no, I don't know. That's, that's our painting. We haven't got a copy of that painting really. Okay, so we've got two of these. We've got a clear one and a mushroom tea one. Yeah. Yeah. We'll paint over paint over this one. Lovely jubbly. Right, let's keep making our way back to Lindo. And ask the captain if we can leave now. Yeah, so we're obviously probably going to have to get off the boat here. 
Because there's a giant waterfall that we can't sail up. I don't know if I can even get out here, can I? I'm not sure. Maybe I can. No, I think I can. I think the, 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 the stream continues round to the left hand side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all good. Yeah, and then this is the Selt... Is it Selt Spring Coast? Yeah, actually, there was a, a quest in The Witcher 3, actually, wasn't there? In in the, one of the DLCs where uh, you had to help a photographer take pictures of different creatures. Whoa, no, my boat! <laughs> Jesus. Oh dear. Right, we'll have to cycle the rest of the way. Right, let's find the path. Somehow. And then I think we'll be saying goodbye to the island of Eastshed. I know I've left a few commissions that I've not done and stuff, but... Whoa! It's alright, there's no death. Reckless abandon. See you later, Bojan. Oh, man. I'm making a big presumption that the captain's going to help us here, but you never know. Maybe we'll get to leave with the architect or something. Message for you from North Seas Shipping. Yes. Safe travels. The message. The messenger gave me an apology letter from North Seas Shipping, along with a free ticket home. I can board from Lindo. Anytime. Dear Oren. On behalf of North Seas Shipping, we apologise for any and all inconvenience caused by the recent shipwreck of the vessel Annabelle. As a gesture of reparation, we'd like to issue you one free ticket home. Please board any of our vessels departing from Lindo. Rest assured, the measures have been taken to improve the reliability of our ships and safety protocols have been updated accordingly. Our deepest apologies, North Seas Shipping. So we can just get on the boat. Yeah. Wow, what what great experience, man. What a lovely, lovely time we've had, guys. It's been so much fun. Getting to know the community, the history of the place, secret underground communities, the religions, the tea wars. All the different places, the architecture, the big city. All the colourful characters we've met along the way. It's been, it's been so much fun, man. Like, this is such a unique thing for a video... Uh, like, as a... Like, as a... Me from video games as a medium, you can't really pull this off in other mediums, can you? Because this is just pure... Uh, I don't know what you'd call it. 
it's almost like rudderless kind of storytelling, right? Where you just you just have it, you just go somewhere and you enjoy yourself and you're doing something more peaceful and relaxing because you know, like storytelling in general is so centered on narrative like specific kinds of journeys and and conflicts and resolutions and we've had that to a degree you know fulfilling our mother's final wishes and stuff but it's not in the same way that when you're you know constructing a story in a more traditional sense it's just not the same kind of thing um it kind of you know, you can get this kind of peaceful relaxation activity thing from more gameplay-driven games. You know, like maybe like a, a strategy game or a farming simulator kind of game or that, that kind of thing. But this is just... It's, it's not as formulaic as that. It has the... Just the cute... Homely spirit to it. And the freedom to just 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 relax a bit rather than it being driven by you know kind of other systems that you get in kind of cozy management style games it's like a it's, like, it's such a cool yeah it's a it's a i would have i would have loved them to have maybe made a sequel that really like pushed some of these ideas forward but i guess the game isn't particularly well known or popular but yeah, I really enjoyed it. I've just really enjoyed it. It's just relaxing. Heading back to the mainland? Do you already have a ticket or are you looking to buy? I've got a letter. Oh, you were on the Annabelle. Terribly sorry about that. Do you wish to board now? You don't have to take this ship. There are many coming through, all going to the mainland. Your ticket is valid for any North Seas shipping vessel. I'll board. Once you board, there's no turning back. You'll be mainland bound. Are you done with all your business here in East Shade? I know this is making it sound like I'd have to start the game again, but I wouldn't even mind. I'm ready. We've got you in the very best room. Go right ahead. Have a nice trip.
Wow. Oh my god, we're home? I'm getting a bit emotional, wow. Oh look at all our paintings, man. Oh, memories from our trip. Oh. Dear Orin, I wanted to thank you for sharing your skills with my daughter, Sanya. She's been busily painting away and our walls are nearly covered with paintings now. She's been teaching other children how to paint as well and hopes to travel one day too. Thank you for sharing your inspiration. Dear Orin, thanks for teaching me how to make canvases. I met another painter and she's teaching me how to make paintings even better. I hope you had a nice time going home and I hope your new ship didn't sink. Oh. And that was probably some stuff that I will have missed, but... Dear Orin, it's nice to meet you and have you stay in our little town. I wanted to thank you again for the painting. It's made somewhat of an impression here. The folks are starting to talk about it as a source of tourist attraction. In any case, I wanted to send you a sample of my newest blend of tea. Enjoy, Nika from the Inglenook Inn. Oh man. Look at all our paintings on the wall, man. Oh, they look so nice. They look much better when you can see them displayed in game, right? Hello again, Traveller. I heard you made it back to the mainland. I hope you're doing well. Bojan was thinking about the conversations you had, so... We thought we'd see how you've been faring. Bojan... <coughs> doesn't write much, but... He wanted to ask if you've been out rafting lately and whether you'd had a chance to eat something called slug cakes. I've never had them myself. They must be... A wonderful delicacy from your hometown. Oh no, I'm Bojo. Man. Maybe there would have been something here to do with the chairs or something along those lines, I'm not sure. Look at all the paintings we did, man. This is so, this is so lovely. Lauren, I doubt you remember, but we met in my tower after you boorishly <laughs> intruded in the middle of the night. What's with the fade to black? After leaving Eastshade, I came to the Shellian Archipelago and learned that you reside here as well. In my time here, I've had the chance to read a book you mentioned, the one praising my work, and have met some local architects as well. I'm not sure you'd call them friends, but we do spend time speaking about buildings and other high arts. In any case, and for reasons somewhat beyond me, one of them has fallen in love with the painting you've done of Lindo. They'd like to request you paint their work at your convenience. Perhaps I'll see you again soon. Ah, oh, man. The Orin. Kai and I wanted to apologise for the way you saw us. It was a low point, to say the least, but thanks to you, we've managed to turn our lives around. There's nothing we could offer to repay you, but I hope you'll accept these treats and our many thanks. Kaylin and Kai. K and K apothecary. Ah, this is so, so, such a lovely way to tie everything up, right? I've asked Mudwillow to help me write this letter. I wish I knew your language better. It was so nice to meet you and share my home. I hope you're well, wherever you roam. I'd love to hear more of the place where you live. Please write back soon, if you have time to give. Best wishes to you, my dear Skyfolk friend. That's all for this letter. Goodbye. The end. <laughs> Alejo. Man, I'm getting really emotional. It's... I don't know what it is. It, it's like, uh, it's just, I don't know. I don't know. Just it's just it's just lovely, right? And there's something about reading letters as well. Kinda makes you feel like a child again, right? Well you know you know what I mean. Just like 
after you know if you if you were to meet someone on a holiday and stuff i don't know if that kind of thing would be lost now because because of technology and stuff but that's the kind of feeling right you'd write letters to each other greetings this is the park ranger from shade national park of east shade i don't know if this will get to you the world is getting so big i guess it might end up lost but i figured i'd try the water foxes here are doing much better now they came out of their cave and I found another pack living near the great tree. Lots of people are taking new interest in the park and water foxes, so thank you for helping make that happen. Up at the Kestrels Eyrie, they started selling these little postcards. The water foxes are bringing so many people out to the forest. Thought you might like one. I don't know why we keep fading to black. Oh, it's a picture of one of the little water foxes. <laughs> oh. Hi there, old pal. Hope you've been well. Business, a huge success over here. Couldn't have done it without you. Planning a trip over to the archipelago soon. First flight across the seas. I'm hoping you can do some promotional work for me. Get folks excited to see the landing. Best wishes to you. That's uh, the balloon pilot. I don't think we're going to get to see any of the mainland, I'm not sure. What would be my favourite painting that was... In our stash. I really do like the one with the balloon in there. I quite like this one as well because of the, the the different distances and the mountain in the background. And that was that. Give me the credits, man. This can't be all the credits. Most of them are the voice actors. No way. This many people made this game. Six people made this game. Wow. <laughs> wow, what an experience, man. I've had so much... That was such a good time. So relaxing. Just like... Yeah, I just... It's everything that I've said. What a great experience with East Shade, guys. What a great experience. I wish... Um, I wish they were making another one. Where they maybe... I don't know if they, how profitable the game was and... Whether they could have made another another one in this style, I don't know, but yeah, great music, like really endearing voice actors, voice acting and characters, uh, real, you know, variety of personalities in the game. And um, so many games actually get um, struggle with like side characters, like making them feel too one dimensional. Whereas here they just a lot of them just had cool little quirky personalities. Um, kind of a real, I don't want to say British sense of humour, but it did have that in places. Um, that kind of irre irreverent kind of humour. And uh, it was just a real genuine, a real, I don't know, it's just a really genuine, real genuine gaming experience. Uh, yeah, an, an experience that I don't think you can really get from a film or other mediums which makes it really unique I think um, and the, 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 that journey on the boat with the music at the end was, was, was so so lovely and all the letters at the end man that was so lovely uh, yeah wow what a great experience guys I don't really have anything else to say I hope you've enjoyed the journey, th the journey through East Shade um, 
It's been a great time. I wish they'd, I wish they'd um, make another one. I really do. And maybe push some of the concepts like way further. Like I've been saying uh, through through the video. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you've enjoyed this series. It's been a fantastic um, experience. Check out Songs of Glimmerwick. Um, it's not out yet, obviously, but you can have a look at the trailers, see what they're working on next. Um, and yeah, I'm going to be playing a Plague Tale Requiem coming up soon. So hope you'll stick around for that. So leave me a like if you enjoyed it, guys. And just remember, everybody, never trust an on crate. I'll see you next time.